We are coming to you live with breaking news right now. Police confirming that there was a shooting at McEachern High School in Powder Springs. And here is what we know so far at this hour. Two people who are not students we're told were shot in the parking lot there at McEachern High School, and that is in Powder Springs right off of New Macklin Road. So the victims that we know of have non-life threatening injuries. Cobb County Police Department says that they are assisting Cobb County School District Police Department. Police have secured the campus. They are in investigating the identities of both people. Obviously, a lot of parents worried, a lot of parents concerned, but at this point, they are not allowing anyone to come on campus. That is a part of this code red alert, so pretty much a lockdown. No one allowed on campus and buses, we're told, will also not run until that code red is lifted. We are, of course, on our way there getting more information, but again, at this point, uh, the code red is in effect. No one allowed on or off campus. And we are taking a live look. You're seeing live pictures from our chopper right now over that campus campus, which is off of Macklin Road. We're in West Cobb. Once again, Powder Springs. If you're familiar with that area, there's a Kroger shopping center around there, the Macklin Animal Hospital. Uh, and we did see if you are on social media, you might have seen a video claiming that this is what the shooting was right now. We cannot independently verify if that video is true. So just keep that in mind. Our investigators, our team, they're working to verify that video. Uh, but what once again, you're taking a live look at pictures here of the campus we see a lot of police presence i mean i want to say 20 to 30 cruisers that were on campus as they locked down this uh the school there and right now no word yet on if that shooter is in custody but we do know that the two victims who have been identified are not students and they are suffering non-life-threatening injuries john and faith you mentioned a heavy police presence here we have seen a uh, cobb county police there as well as the powder springs police department also just a few moments ago we saw some of the video of the Georgia Department of Transportation, some of the officials, at least some of their cameras, uh, directing traffic, blocking off the road there at the intersection of Macklin Road and New Macklin Road. So again, the school, as we mentioned, is no, uh, located right in that area. So you can see there uh, some of the traffic cameras right here yeah. from uh, GDOT, and they are not allowing anyone, not even anywhere near the campus, yeah. other than the police agencies. And as we know with these school shootings, it's a very, every minute counts. Um, it's all, all hands on deck situation. Parents, if you're watching here we do want you to know that the officials are asking that you avoid the campus right now uh, as they lock it down they want to make sure that everybody is secure when we do get the uh, okay that that code red alert has lifted we will make sure to tell you but at this time police are asking that you avoid that campus you might be able to check in with your students via their cell phones but once again if you're just joining us we are confirming that there was a shooting at McEachern High School the shooting took place in the parking lot two people who were not students we want to repeat were not students at the high school were shot with non-life-threatening injuries at this time we are still working to understand or confirm if that shooter uh the status of that shooter if it was captured or not but once again you're taking a live look at these pictures and we can just see several police cruisers there jonathan as well as uh departments kind of um scaling the perimeter of the school right now and as we mentioned the campus right now is in a code red so basically that is a shelter in place mm -hmm. students staff uh really in the building no one allowed to come in no one allowed to go out as a continue to investigate and hopefully have everything under control. As we mentioned, I know a lot of parents are concerned and worried. They would like to get there to campus, but right now they are not allowing parents or really anyone on campus. Uh, we do know that there is a staging area being set up for the media as well. As soon as we get more information from authorities there and they give us more information, we of course will pass that along to you. But again, you're taking a live look at the scene right here uh, at McEachern High School. And I do want to bring up, we just got a tweet from the Cobb County Police Department Department. It says McEachern High School parents, the reunification location will be the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. That's 2595 New Macklin Road. Please travel from Richard D. Sailors Parkway as New Macklin Road will be closed on Macklin. So once again, I want to repeat this. We did just get a tweet from the Cobb County Police Department saying McEachern Hi High School parents, that reunification location 
will be at the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. That's 2595 New Macklin Road. They're asking you to please travel from Richard D. Sailors Parkway as New Macklin Road will be closed to the public. So that's what we're learning new right now. Yeah, that's good to know. We just got that updating. You're taking a live look at the campus and it's important to know that this is a rather large high school campus, a campus with multiple buildings. So obviously a lot of law enforcement there to secure all of the buildings to make sure all of the students are safe. You can also see in some of the videos we were showing closer a number of law enforcement vehicles there as, num as well as a lot of uh, fire department and EMS vehicles there as well being precautious uh, you know just to they don't know exactly how right. uh, serious the situation is yeah. we, we understand that there are non-life threatening injuries but you always have to prepare for more uh, and expect the worst when you show up to these things and we are working to confirm this but I can imagine it's not just going to be Cobb County police out there in Georgia State Patrol they're probably going to be calling up a lot of different departments to come up and assist with this uh, we're talking about a high school here it's about 257 so classes were still in session uh, I believe when this happened but once again these were not students that were involved in the shooting at this time police are saying that these two people who were shot were not students at McEachern High School they are uh, were shot with non-life threatening injuries currently being treated but Jonathan as we know with any of these uh, shootings in high school shootings middle school any type of school shooting the parents are the main priority the students are the main priority so we're going to make sure that we are continuing to keep you all updated. We do have this information on our website, 11alive.com as well. That's right, and we have crews headed there to the scene. We will, of course, have breaking updates for you right here on our website and on 11 Alive News starting at 4 p.m.